if you're just getting started in cryptocurrencies and you want to know how they work well you have come to the right place because i have created this channel with you in mind so be sure to check out my previous videos anyway what is bitcoin wallet and what is bitcoin address let's address that right now Hello and welcome to In The Finance, a show where we talk all things money online, personal finance, trading and more. I am your host at Vosi Designer. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at cryptocurrency wallet. To get started in cryptocurrencies, you need a place to store, receive, send your digital assets and wallets are exactly that. Cryptocurrency wallets are similar to a bank account except it's not owned by the bank, it's owned by you. And also, there are no monthly fees, so it's free to own a cryptocurrency wallet forever. With your traditional banking, you have a bank name, Swift code, branch name, and the actual bank account. On the other hand, with cryptocurrencies, you have something called a wallet. Inside that wallet, there is a address. Creating a cryptocurrency wallet is similar to creating an email online. You don't need an ID, proof of address, any of identification, basically. You can be completely anonymous. It's important to know that if you're creating a wallet through an exchange, they might require your personal information like your ID. And basically, they call this a KYC, which means know your customers. This is basically so that they're complying with the regulation of that country. Upon creating your Bitcoin wallet, you get what is called a public key and a private key. A public key is also known as your address, similar to your bank account as mentioned previously. And this is how it looks like. And you can give this address to anyone around the world and, uh, oof, <laughs> and they'll be able to send you cryptocurrencies on this address. Some of them you will receive them instantly. Some will take a couple of minutes to reflect on your wallet. A private key, well, a private key is just as private as the name suggests. This is something you only want to keep for your eyes because if anyone were to get hold of these keys, your funds will be lost forever. Think of private keys as your password to your funds and you don't want to give your password to anyone else unless you're in the mood of donating those funds. There are two ways of accessing your wallet. One is through your private keys Two is through your username and password. Once in that wallet, you can view your balance, send, receive cryptocurrencies, create multiple addresses for currencies like Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, XRPs, and more, depending on whether or not your wallet accepts or supports those uh, currencies. Look at it like a banking profile at your bank. Remember, in your bank, you can have a profile and under that profile, you have a savings account, a check account, a credit card, maybe your mortgage loan or your student loan. And it's all under just one profile. So that's how uh, cryptocurrency wallets also work. As much as you can be completely anonymous when creating your wallet, it's important to note that anyone with your address can actually take your address to a blockchain explorer and they'll be able to see every activities or transaction that has ever happened on that specific wallet. However, there are cryptocurrencies that can do transactions that are completely anonymous, that are untraceable, and these cryptocurrencies are uh, Monero, Bitcoin, PVX, and Zcash. If you want to see more about these currencies, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can go check them out yourself. There are many different types of wallets, but for this video, I want us to only focus on three. One is an online wallet. Mostly this is a wallet on your mobile phone. Number two is a hardware wallet like this one. I'll show you how it works in a moment. And also number three is a paper wallet. An online wallet is normally an app on your phone or a wallet within an exchange. An exchange is a place where you deposit your local currencies like a euro, rand, pound, dollar, and exchange them to cryptocurrencies. When creating an online wallet, sometimes a address is automatically generated for you. Sometimes you have to do it yourself, but it's a very, very simple step and anyone can do it. 
in this type of account you will need a second layer of security as in some cases you don't have private keys to those accounts especially in exchange you don't have private keys when you're using a wallet through an exchange therefore you need to beef up your security i use an app called google authenticator this is an app that changes a code each and every 30 seconds so it gives you something like an otp i'll link it in the description it's a very good app check it out you also want to make sure that you don't keep too much funds on your online wallet basically because it's not as secure as your hardware wallet wallet number two is your hardware wallet i specifically use this one here a ledger nano s and i've also got a ledger nano x um, you can get yours on this one, on this specific website. This is a very trusted wallet. Basically, how it works is you download the app to your desktop, then connect your wallet through this cable here. You can use these buttons here to punch in your password and also to verify transactions. And a wallet is only online when it's connected to your computer. Once you pull this cable here, your wallet is completely offline. So this is the safest wallet that you can get. The nice thing about this wallet is that you don't have to keep it physically with you to see your balances. What you can do is you can link it with your online portfolio. In that case, the portfolio stays on your phone, but your funds are not physically on your phone. The funds are on your hardware wallet while you can see how your investment is performing through an online portfolio on your phone now to your paper wallet this is a paper wallet that you can print out and store somewhere safely okay so here we are on the website so uh, on this website we're going to generate a paper wallet so i'm going to go ahead and click here and say generate a paper wallet website is going to load what i'm going to do i'm going to hit next and then immediately the paper wallet is generated for us here you can see you've got your public keys and you've got also your private keys so you can go ahead from here and say print wallet from there you can print the wallet and save it on your computer or you can go ahead and print it out and store it somewhere in your house very safely i'm gonna put all these websites so you can check out all these wallets yourself all the links will be in the description so here we are at the end of this video this was just a simple basic overview of how cryptocurrency wallet works if you want to see a more in-depth video make sure you subscribe and also give me a thumbs up also question of the day what video would you like to see next put those comments on the comment section below and i will see you on the next one until then goodbye